And in other news, a major improvement to Ishpeming's infrastructure that will increase home values was announced today. Local 3's John Truitt has the details. The city of Ishpeming today announced a more than $16 million sewer infrastructure project that will include a combination of several components of the city's sanitary sewer infrastructure. The city plans to replace the sewer main as well as install a redundancy to the city's sewer main system and any necessary upgrades to the lift stations to provide a long-term solution to its aging infrastructure. Ishpeming City Manager Craig Cuccini explains the urgency behind this project and how upgrades to the various components of the sewer system will be prioritized. So we're a 150-year-old town celebrating our 150th birthday year, right? And so with age also comes aged infrastructure. So what we're doing is we're trying to work through the worst condition pipes as we know it um, and then work our way to the best. The city of Ishpeming historically tried to keep its infrastructure costs down and subsequently failed to adequately plan for the future of this aging sewer system. The city of Ishpeming hasn't planned for the future and we're not dissimilar from the rest of the state of Michigan nor the rest of America. The, the goal was at one point to keep costs as low as they can and without planning for the future. The funding for this project will come from two sources. And ultimately what we ended up with was $8 million of grants, no cost to our residents, and $8 million of low interest loan, which has some impact to our customers, but we believe that the savings along the line are probably gonna wash most of the increased costs. Uh, yet to be seen, but we know that uh, we've done it in the most affordable way. After an exhaustive application process, the state of Michigan has accepted the application for funding the project based on multiple factors, including need, economic and demographic conditions, and project viability. And then they look at every application across the state of Michigan and they see who's going to score the best. And they give us all points based on our applications. And Ishming's score rose high enough to be funded. And because of our state of finances, meaning average household income and the amount of homes that are at or near poverty level and other things, we get scored in a way where we're eligible for a 50% grant, 50% loan. Some are worse than us and they're able to get 100% grants. Uh, but 50-50 is the best we could do which is really quite good. Cuccini is quick to point out that individual sewer lines from the main into the residents' homes will still be the responsibility of the homeowner. We're going to make sure their connection is still sound to our pipe. When we put a new pipe in, they are ensured that they're not disconnected. Uh, but that, that lateral from the main to their home is still their responsibility. The timeline for this project, although not exact, is expected to be completed well before the funding deadline of December 31st, 2026. Their period of performance is defined that they have to have everything done, including a punch list and all things fixed before the money is no longer allowed to be spent, which is December 31st, 2026. We would expect they're going to be done much sooner than that. Cuccini goes on to say that this ambitious project will attempt to meet its goals with the least amount of disruption to Ishpeming residents and its roadways. Cuccini believes the improvements to the sewer system will make Ishpeming a much better community. Sorry, like it's all tied together. Um, property values go up as a neighborhood because you fixed large sections of, of sewer infrastructure in a neighborhood. In Ishpeming, John Truitt, Local 3 News.